Hi, welcome back to the Chop Life channel where we chop life so life doesn't chop you. Listen, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how a girl sold me a dream and I died for Nyash. This happened when I was about 17 years old. So I was a Nyash warrior from young, back when man was a virgin fam, back when I had no things. Believe me. Back then, I had negative riz fam. Way back before I had a PhD in risology fam. So see me, I was starving blood. I was malnourished of any pussy blood. So I must have been chatting to a girl for a few weeks, yeah. And I don't know about you, man, but you see me. For some reason, I always chat to girls halfway across the country blood. This girl was from Yorkshire. And you see me, I'm from East London blood. So that's like a four hour coach journey blood. But guess what? She invited me round her yard for the weekend and initially I was thinking bro like that is a trick you think I'm travelling halfway round the fucking country to come see your ass but then the energy she was giving me the thing she was telling me she's gonna do to me bruv it got me excited blood she had my ting rising over text messages fam fam I thought this was it I thought I was gonna get some pussy so I said say nothing let me book a little coach fam I was dedicated to the mission of getting some pussy fam so i booked the coach ticket for the coming weekend and i'm on this coach for four hours bro bro my bum was hurting bro i was sitting down for too long but i was like to myself listen it's gonna be worth it man's gonna get some pum pum <laughs> so two twos now she met me at the coach station and we're already off to a bad start because when i saw her i thought no I've been twanged fam. She's a fraud. Blood, she did not look like what she looked in her pictures fam. This motherfucker was double my size bruv. But I thought, listen, I just trekked four hours on a coach. Even though this bitch is a two out of ten, I'm gonna have to hit it. I'm gonna have to. Ain't no going back now. I was dedicated to the cause. Fast forward until the evening time. Now we're in her bedroom fam. Two twos now. One thing leads to another. So now she must have grabbed man's Wadini blood. And I'm out here thinking, lads, it's happening. It's happening. But when I tell you, this was the most uncoordinated handjob I've ever had in my life, bruv. In fact, it was the only one I've ever had in my life. The only way I can describe it is if you wipe your ass with your left hand like you could only imagine how hard that is blood and i've had to wipe my ass with my left hand before it's not a good experience blood and if you're unlucky bruv one of your fingers slips in your asshole it's, it's, it's long but the point is it was uncoordinated blood like she was moving like my wadini's a gear stick or some shit blood the way she was yanking it around blood i can't lie my thing normally bends to the left but by the end of the evening, my thing was bending to the right, blood. I was thinking, this can't be good. Man, them, I don't know if you know my pain, but you know them ones when they don't lube it up, blood? They don't even do a little... Nah, blood, this thing left it dry, bruv. The friction I was receiving, oh my God. God, it felt like I got carpet burn on my Wadini blood. And I can't lie fam, I didn't want to ruin the moment or make it awkward or anything like that. So I was just trying to firm the pain blood. It got to the point where she was yanking my ting so hard, I started moaning because it hurt so much blood. So she must have thought in her head, oh I got him moaning, he likes it hard. So she went even harder blood. Bro, I was fighting for my life fam. Bro, I've never been in such pain in my life fam. Bro, I put my head like this. Just to try and relieve the pain, bro. Just to get through the pain. You know what she said? Are oh, you like that? Are you about to come? So I just said, listen, chill. Let, let me just put it in now, bruv. You get me? A man's here telling me she's not ready. So I was like, what? What was all that you're telling me on the phone? And she's out here like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm scared. So I've changed my mind, okay? I'm just scared. So you're telling me I travelled four hours thinking man's gonna get some pum pum. But all man's gonna leave with is a wadini coming like one pepperami blood. Bruv, I got off her bed fam, I started walking like I've just been circumcised blood. I'm not even walking at this point, I'm waddling fam. So man them, please don't die for Nyash fam, it's not worth it. Travelling four hours just for some pum pum, coming back with a circumcision I didn't even ask for fam. Now I have to spend the next week waddling bruv. Nah man, nah. Listen, don't let these girls twang you like this fam. I should have known the amount of L's I took. But listen, if you did enjoy that video, get some value out of that video. I don't know how you get any value out of that video apart from understanding what can possibly happen if you die from Yash. But listen, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.